Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set the Citizen Movement Caliber U680. This watch is the Promaster Navihawk AT and is referenced JY8030-83E. Okay, first of all, let's go through the dials that are on the watch. So if we look at the top left hand dial, you'll see we have a power reserve indicator, how charged is the watch. And then underneath that you have your four radio towers. That's citizen news around the world, USA, Europe, Japan. China and Japan is just under the hand. This dial here is universal time, so a time for pilots I suppose, and it's in a 24 hour format as you can see. There's 24 dashes around this dial. This dial here is another 24 hour clock, but it's just telling you are the big hands morning or afternoon. So it's almost quarter past 10, but is it quarter past 10 in the evening or the morning? Well because this hand is before the 12 as opposed to the 24, we know it's the morning. Whatever is on the left hand digital panel corresponds to the hands and whatever's on the right is displayed underneath in digital form. So right now we're displaying dual time, London on the hands and Berlin on the right hand digital panel. And then we have your feature dial here with all the features available on the watch. So to change the time in London, we need to get London onto the right hand side. There's two ways of doing it. The quickest way, if London is on the left or whatever city you want to change the time in, if it's on the left, you can swap it over to the right so for instance, we'll put Berlin onto the hands and London onto the digital quite simply by pulling out the crown one click, making sure your feature dial has time selected, which as you can see it does. But if it didn't, I would just turn the crown clockwise or anti-clockwise, make sure time is selected, press both push buttons in at the same time. As you can see now, I've swapped London onto the right hand side so I can change it and Berlin is now on the hands. I'm gonna show you quickly another way of doing this. I'm gonna swap London back, put the crown in, Okay, we're back to the start. If London was not on this side here, I could actually scroll through and find it. The way I do that is pull out the crown one click, make sure time is selected, and press either the top button or the bottom push button and find London. So I know it's underneath Berlin, there's Rome, Paris, Madrid, London, there we go. So now I've got London onto the right hand side, I can change it. Okay, what we do next is pull out the crown all the way. First thing to flash is summertime. Is it on or off? Well, right now it is off, that is correct. We are in winter time. But when the clocks go forward, this needs to be on. So the way we change this is push the bottom button. You'll see it go on. And it's jumped forward an hour to 11. But I'm going to leave it off, so I'm going to press the bottom button again. There we go. Press the top button to move you on to the next thing to change. Second to flash in to reset those. If you want to be more accurate, you can just press the bottom button. There we go, back to zero again. Top button moves you on. Minutes are flashing, to change the minutes, turn the crown, clockwise or anti-clockwise. If you think that's going to take too long, you can roll your finger down the crown and the minutes will spin faster. There we go, turn the crown to stop it, and then adjust one by one. Top button moves you onto the hours, turn the crown to change the hour. Top button moves you on. Do you want to display the time as a 12 or 24 hour format? 24 is always best. I think when you get the watch though, it will be in 12 hour format, but I would press the bottom button and keep it in 24. It's just easier when you look at the digital panel to know if it's morning or afternoon, and then top button takes you back to the beginning again. And if you need to change anything, just press the top button. You can scroll through them all again. Basically use the crown on the minutes and the hours and use the bottom button to change summertime and reset the seconds and the 24 hour part. Okay, that's it. That's how you change the time on the watch. Put the crown in. All you have to do now is wait for the hands to settle. You've changed the time, so the hands are obviously gonna to change to correspond to the digital panel. Then universal time will also change to correspond because you've changed London, of course. Everything else has to change. There we go, that's done. The only other thing you may need to do is if you don't have London on the hands here, you would just need to pull out the crown one click and press both push buttons in and put London back onto the hands. Crown in. That's how we change the time on the Citizen Movement Calibre U680. I hope you found that video helpful.